Now, I grew up in the amazing 90s, and I remember having one of these train whistles growing up. And I always thought how cool it was, a simple wood project that can make it sound like a train. And I thought, well, that can't be that hard to make. And so today's video, I'm going to make one of these train whistles. And just to show you how easy anybody can make one. I'm first going to go over to my scrap wood pile here. Just grab a piece of 2x2 two two I had left over. And once I get that 2x2, two two, I'm going to go ahead and measure over 6.5 inches. And put a mark there at 6.5 inches. Once I get that mark, I'll take it over to my miter saw and get it all set up. Next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut off an additional inch and a quarter, and you'll see what this piece is here a little bit later, but keep that piece and put it to the side. I'm going to grab that six and a half inch board that I cut, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure three eighths inch from the edge here towards the center, and just make a square all the way around it here. Now, I don't have a drill press, but I picked this off Amazon uh, for about 40 bucks and kind of made my own drill press, and it works out great for small projects. And it saved me a couple hundred bucks from getting a drill press, and uh, just a simple way to get nice straight lines. Now, I'm going to put in my 3 8 inch bit into my drill press here and go ahead and just drill as far down as I can. It won't go quite as far as I need, but not a big deal. I'll put another bit in my drill and be able to get that fixed. And then next, I'm going to put a longer bit inside of my drill here same size bit i'm going to go and start with four and three quarters and drill all the way down four and three quarters and then after that my next one i'm going to measure it off to three and seven eighths go ahead and measure that one all the way down the third one is going to be three and a quarter again just going all the way down the last one's going to be two and seven eighths so you should have four different hole sizes here Now next, I'm going to measure down inch and a quarter from the top and make that bottom line. And then I'm going to do five eighths from the top and make that line there. And then I'm going to find the dead center, which an inch and a half should be three quarters. Just measure to make sure. And I'm going to make diagonal lines, 45 degrees, just like this on all four sides. Then I grab my saw and go ahead and just start cutting as straight as I can here. And get those cut all the way through on each side, stopping at the 45 degree angle on each corner. And you'll kind of see why here in a little bit, how this gives this nice 45 degree angle that allows for the sound. And then again, going upwards here, trying to keep a 45 degree angle, just following my line to get this all nice cut and cleaned out. And here, I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. My chisel here, just kind of get a nice clean edge. And I'll come back a little bit later and do some sanding. Once you get all done, this is somewhat what it should look like here. And again, it still looks a little rough, but it just needs a little bit of sanding. Now, I don't have an actual dowel rod, so I'm going to use some of my 3 8 plugs here. And um, these work great. And um, what I'm going to do here, since I don't have a you know tabletop sander, I'm going to use my uh, sander here. I'm, I don't want to do more than halfway. I'm looking about a quarter of the way I'm going to sand down flat. Um, if you go too far, you won't get the correct sounds. So this is kind of about as much as you want you don't want quite halfway what i'm going to do is cut that in half and i'm going to put it in here and when i put it in here i want to make sure that the flat edge is pointed toward the corner here you can kind of see just like that there and just kind of push it through and test it and you can adjust it up and down if need be to get the correct sound now, if you remember this guy that I told you to remember, don't throw away, we're going to use that piece now, an inch and a quarter. I'm going to grab an inch and eighth inch bit, put in my drill press here, and, and I'm going to go ahead and drill about halfway through. Not all the way, but about halfway through with this inch and eighth. And don't worry, this is definitely OSHA approved. Um, just, just don't mind the fingers there. Now, once I get that drill about halfway through, I'm going to go ahead and grab my 3 8 inch bit, which should already be my drill, and go ahead and finish the rest of the way through here. Once I got that, get my glue here, go ahead and put some glue on the top here, and I'll go ahead and attach this to the top, trying to align the grains, make it look good, and let that clamp hold in. After it dries and it's good to go, then I'll go ahead and sand it and give a nice, good, clean finish here. Once I finish this, I did some hand sanding after this, make it look a little nicer. And this is what the finished product looks like. I didn't paint it or stain it or anything, uh, but it's just it's just a real simple project you can make, and it it works. <laughs> I remember having one of these when I was a kid. Like you know what, it can't be that hard to make. And so, anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you like, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll be making up more simple videos like this one. <laughs>